Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, we are going to learn how to set up guided access. This is a new feature in iOS 6 that will allow you to restrict access to areas of certain applications. Actually, any application on your device you can enable guided access for and you can restrict access to being able to tap on certain buttons. You can restrict it stuck into the app so that no one can exit that app once it's enabled and it's a pretty cool feature for learning and we're going to go ahead and set it up here. So in order to enable guided access, you want to go into your settings app and go into general right here. Once you're in general, scroll all the way down to accessibility, go ahead and tap on that, and at the bottom, you will see guided access under learning. Tap on that and we will turn on guided access. So once guided access is on, we can then go ahead and set a password for it. You wanna set a good passcode, it can be a four digit passcode here, and we'll, so we'll just set all zeros for the purpose of this demonstration and you have another option in here enable screen sleep and this will enable the screen to dim after a period of inactivity pressing the sleep wake button will put the screen to sleep immediately so I'm just gonna leave that off but what guided access does is it adds a new feature to your home button and when you triple tap the home button when within an app you'll be given this menu here and I'll show you how to do it here so we're going to triple tap the home button and as you can see, it backs out there and brings us to this screen where we have an option. And then we can also circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. So if I just want them to be able to flow through this screen and not mess with any of these buttons, I can go ahead and circle that entire area right there. And see how it draws a little box around it? If we're done with that, we can go ahead and press start. But we also have options here. And it says that hardware buttons are always off. So the hardware buttons won't do anything in guided access and we don't seem to have the option to change that in here as well. Uh, we do have touch on and motion on. So I could turn off touch and that would disable the entire touch sensor from within that app. We're gonna go ahead and press done here and when I hit start, as you can see, if you guys can see this, there's a little gray bar over this but when I try to tap on these icons down here, they don't do anything. So we can't go into any of those menus here and we are just stuck being able to browse through the app store itself like this. So none of these buttons will work down here. And you can see that little shaded area better right here. It's a cool way to restrict people from being able to do certain things and we can even go back in here and enter the password and we can circle like this categories button and you just you just circle these with your finger like that and it'll automatically detect it and adjust accordingly. We can circle this whole section right here just like that and it basically just turns off certain areas. So this is a good example here. You see that big shaded gray area. I can no longer touch that area. I can swipe through these just by going kind of down below and if you if you move it up you know obviously you can get out of that zone there so it's mainly meant for apps that would be fixed so if you try to exit out of the app now it, the home button does nothing and if you lock the screen it does nothing so you're kind of stuck in this app none of the hardware buttons actually do anything while in guided access if you'd like to exit guided access triple press the home button again and you'll be prompted to enter your passcode and then guided access will be over and you can end it. But it works pretty good in apps that are completely fixed, uh, such as Weather or you know Game Center or stuff like that. And it's just a good way to teach people how to do things. So we could go into a photo here, tap on Edit. And now that we have that pulled up, if I don't want them to be able to flip a photo, I can circle that button. And I don't want them to be able to crop a photo. I can circle that and I don't want them to be able to cancel out of editing so these are all things that you can do and then you can press start and all those buttons are actually disabled so now the only options available in here are to zoom in and autocorrect which is just how it works and then they can't save the picture either so guided access it's pretty cool I can see this functionality being very important on an iPad and especially to teach people with disabilities how to use apps and once you're backed out of it here you can also delete these zones that you've created by tapping on the X in the corner of them 
or you can resize them if you'd like as well just to make them however big or small you'd like to restrict the touch sensors in that area now if we completely remove all of these here as you can see if we go to options and we turn off touch the touch will be completely disabled so that's guided access you guys I hope it was helpful please let me know what you think in the comments thanks again for watching my name is Dom and have a great day